Hey, Jared. Hmm? My family. You got one? Trying to put one back together. We've got a location on the chameleon. Third floor, center apartment. Soon he's armed and dangerous. Full frontal assault. He's deflated. We've been had. And he certainly was right about this guy being a wing nut. Clever. Dangerous. This guy's crazier than we thought. It's really creepy. FCSI scour this laugh factory. Find something? Uh, nothing. We'll keep looking. There's got to be something here that will give us a clue as to the chameleon's real identity. You have to relax, Parker. Just close your eyes and breathe slowly in and out. Let the breath of life nurture your soul. Nothing else matters. Let yourself open up completely and just listen. Can you hear the voices? What does this mean? My face has been digitally attached to the bodies in these various photographs. Why? Someone is playing with my head. And when someone plays with my head, it usually comes from one place. You have a video phone call. Jared, you're alive. And because of that wonderful fact, I get to enjoy another day being chased by the center. I've got to hand it to you, though. Pinup posters as bait this time was truly inspired. Inspired? We weren't even sure you had survived until this very moment. Well, someone in Center Wonderland has manipulated an ID photo I made for an arson investigator pretend that I did several years ago. Well, let me check the archive. I assure you, none of us have misused your image. Somebody did, and we need to find out who. I'll see what I can do, Jared. Double T. What did you say? Double T. The voices. Her voice. Keep saying double T. T T. I heard it too. Miss Parker. Ethan. I'm glad you're alive. I'm glad you're alive too. Don't you know that nobody dies at the center? My mother. Our mother, Catherine, did. And somehow the answers are tied to double T. Is double T a project? A, a case file? Or does it have something to do with me? Not to my knowledge. We'll find out. And I want the truth. So do I. I want it. Why didn't you tell him about the chameleon? It was need to know. They don't. recommendation on the airline simulation. You seem angry. I stole DSAs. I want my simulations. The center takes my findings and twists them. Sells them to the highest bidder. Instead of using them to prevent tragedies, they teach people to cause them. Well, they couldn't. They 
saved him. They're never going to make me do another one. I'm going to escape, Eddie. And when I do, I'll come back again. CSI went through everything, from the oxen in the inflatable clown to the water in the super soaker, and couldn't find so much as a suspicious fiber that would give us a clue as to who the chameleon is. Agent Morse. Did you get the photos I left for you? Who are you? I am you, and you are me. We are one and the same. Lighten up, man. It's a joke, you know, the nonsensical words of a disturbed man. Any real NSA agent would expect to hear from me. That's not what you'd expect, is it, Jared? How do you know my name? I guess that would be strange. Hmm? You must be so accustomed to being the only one in the room who knows who you really are. It's quite a rush, isn't it? Sitting there amidst, and they have no idea how superior we are to them. So easy to look down upon, so easy to manipulate. They so want to believe in who we pretend to be. Well, this time, you've been unmasked. And I'm the unknown man. I'll find out who you are. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at your file right now. What a coincidence. I just happened to be reading one of yours. And it tells me, Jared, that you have a flaw in your character that makes you want to help people. I do hope this won't make you an unworthy adversary. Eddie was right. This is a game for you. A game that poor Eddie lost. Well, I hate to break it to you, but Agent Ballinger is still alive. Game's not over. And I never make the same mistake twice. He's awake now, you know. Agent Ballinger just woke up. Ballinger. Oh, I give up. I'll shoot. We thought you were in trouble. Jared. Uh, Agent. Morse. My God. I must have missed the briefing. Ah, uh, Agent Morse and I are old friends. From the Academy Training Center. Uh, yes, from the center. You never mentioned that to me. No, I, I didn't. Well, I'll give you boys a chance to catch up. <laughs> it's so good to see you. What are you doing out of bed? Go back to bed. I just got a minor cranial abrasion. I'll be fine. Man, you're as stubborn now as you were at the center. Sit down. Yeah, you have no idea. Oh, it's yours. I'm a much better pickpocket now than I ever was a doctor. What are you doing? A lot of strange things have been happening to me lately. I'm not quite sure who to trust. Eddie, it's me. It's Jared. Splitting up is our only chance. Yes, I know. Let's go find those families. Good luck. Sorry. never knew if I'd ever see you again. I guess in my heart, I always knew I would. <sighs> hey, sit down. I've been one step ahead of the center since we escaped. Well, I guess I'm lucky. Either they haven't found me or they haven't bothered looking. You find your family? Some. I'm still searching for my mother. Find her, Jared. Find them all, because family is the only thing that matters. I can see that. I thought maybe you'd like to have them close. Thanks. Well, if you've seen my desk and you're wearing that badge, I'll assume you're chasing after the camellia now, too. Yes. Do you know who he is? I don't know. Jared, before we escaped from the center that night, I'd been running a simulation that you didn't know anything about called Star Points. It was designed to create covert identities for the NSA's top five undercover agents. A few months ago, those very agents started being killed. Now, the chameleon beat me to number four, but he won't beat me to number five. The chameleon obviously knows about my sim, and for some reason, at the very moment,